who you might recall earlier this spring, Sue did a segment on how house plants can help to clean the air in your house. And since we're approaching the time of year when most of us spend more time in our houses, I thought I'd go over a few of the house plants that are easier to grow. Well, house plants are usually divided into three groups, low light, medium light, and high light groups. And first, I'll go over a few of the plants that are in the low light group. This plant that I have in my hand is a peace lily, and this is a very easy plant to grow. It's, it's a low light plant, and actually low light means that it can grow in a, an area of your home with just uh, reading lights or fluorescent lights or in a north window in the winter time. Now peace lilies are nice because they have the shiny leaves and they're very, very easy to take care of. Another plant that's easy to take care of is the cast iron plant. And you'll notice how it has a longer leaf and it's not as shiny. So if you don't like that shiny leaf look, you could get a cast iron plant. Well, cast iron, I think they named it that because it's very hard to kill. And so this is an easy plant to grow as well. If you want some color in your house, you might want to try the purple waffle plant. It has these beautiful waffled leaves and then on the underside of each leaf, it's purple. Now this plant has a more trailing habit to it. So if you want a, a plant with a lot of color and also a trailing habit, you might try the purple waffle plant. Well, our last plant in the low light category that's easy to grow is the Chinese evergreen. Now this one is actually a variegated Chinese evergreen and you can get these with variegation in the leaves or with just green leaves and these make a nice mass. You'll notice how full that is. So that makes a nice mass plant in your house. Well, we'll move on over to the medium light plants. This plant here is a red leaf, a red margin dracaena, and it actually will grow fairly tall and then have these nice long leaves with the red margins on them. Moving on along here, I have a rubber plant. Now these are a very popular house plant and they have great form. This is a nice upright growing plant. Next we have the split leaf philodendron. This is also very easy to grow and it takes medium light. Now medium light would be a north window in the summer or a south facing window with curtains in it in the winter. And that's what you would call a medium light plant. And finally, we have the Springer asparagus fern here. These are great, and if you have trouble growing ferns, this is one that you might want to try because it's a little easier to take care of. It's not so choosy about water and light as the Boston ferns and things like that. So this is one of my favorite ferns. Now we move along to the highlight plants, which would be like a south facing window without any curtains in it. And we have a trailing plant here. This is a wax plant. It's also known as a Hoya. Now this one is variegated, and you'll notice the great variegation in the leaves. You can also get this with just um, plain leaves, so depending on your preferences, you can decide what you want to get. Next is the Hawaiian Shuffleera. This is very easy to grow, and this will get very tall, so you might want to cut this one back several times and make it bush out more before you get it to be tall with just a few leaves on the top. A really interesting plant is the Balfour Aurelia. It's one that you may not see as often as you see the Shuffleera, but it is easy to grow and it takes high light and it makes a nice form. But the, one of my favorite ones is the Ming Aurelia, which is related to the Balfour Aurelia. We will notice how the foliage has this wonderful lacy texture and also the nice green color. But one of the best things about this plant is its wonderful branch structure. Look back here and notice how the branches are just going every which way and it has this great knobby texture on it. Well, one of the problems people have with their houseplants is that they tend to water them too much, especially during the winter. You want to water them just once a week and some plants you can even wait two weeks before watering, so monitor that closely. Another problem that people can have is a buildup of dust on the leaves. And you don't really need a leaf shiner or anything like that for this. Just take a nice soft cloth and moisten that. And then run that over the top of the leaf. And also the bottom in case there are some spider mites there. And that will shine your leaf up and also keep it clean. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. 
Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.